Hello, welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we're going to talk about torsion. Let's start out the example as we go along explain things, what torsion and torque is. We have this aluminum shaft here and it's fixed in uh, one end and then the other end is applied to a different torque. At point A, the torque is 900, meter, uh, 900 newton per meter. Then at point B, we have a torque of T1, which we don't know we're going to calculate. Then at point C, we have 600 newton per meter and point D, we have 300 newton per meter. The information is given to us, the diameter of the shaft is uh, 50 uh, millimeter. The allowable uh, stress of the uh, shear, uh, allowable shear stress is uh, 60 uh, megabyte, I mean, megabyte, uh, 60 uh, uh, million pascal or 60 million uh, newton per meter square. So what we're looking for is uh, find out the uh, uh, force at T1 and uh, shear max at uh, section CD and section DE. When we look at this, in the previous uh, uh, classes, we talked about uh, uh, internal forces. In the, we're going to use, uh, apply the same thing. So if we cut this shaft right between B and C, and then replace it with internal forces, we're going to replace it with the uh, torque TBC. And then in here, what we're going to have, we're going to use an equilibrium equation to, uh, to calculate the uh, forces. So it will be a summation of a moment, and x is equal, we have all stuff from here, we're going to have a, a T1, and then we're going to have minus 900, and then we're going to have a, a minus a TBC equals 0. So that will give us one equation right there. We can further modify this equation which will become um, TBC is equal uh, T1 minus 900. Now we know that and then we want to find out, we're looking for another equation. We're going to say, okay, let's assume that TBC is the maximum force that you can apply at the point of failure. So what would have, how much this would be if this shaft's going to uh, a fail a basically or equal allowable the allowable stress and we know the equation for that was uh, it's on the board take a look at what we have on the board so allowable shear stress is equal TBC times C divided by J and uh, we have uh, we have uh, allowable stress was 60 megapass 60 in Pascal, megapascal, and then we have, um, what else, we have uh, TBC, which is equal, TBC was T1 minus 900, and C. C is a half of the diameter, 0 0.025 in meter, and divided by J, when the equation for J is pi divided by 2, times 0 0.025 radius by power 4. And I have calculated that to be uh, T1 comes out to, yeah, T1 comes out to equal uh, 2,372.6 Newton per meter. And let me plug these in our torque diagram. We know we're going to start out at 900. So it's going to be this, this is 900 right here. And it's going to go all the way to T1. So we have 900. And from T1, we're going to drop down quite a bit. And that's going to be, um, that's going to be uh, 2372. So that will bring us to 1472. So right here, that's a 1472. And then we can meet 600. And then we go up 600 right here. And we keep going until we get to 300. And... Uh, so this will be uh, 872.6, then we go up 300, and then we go all the way, and that's going to be 572.6, and to an equilibrium, that's going to be less of a right there. So the moment right there, torque right there, it's going to be 572.6. Now we have that, so that makes it easier. From there, we can go ahead and calculate the shear max 
yeah, share max at CD. So we're going to say share max at CD is equal. CD is right here. So that's 872.6. Uh, the equation for it is uh, it's on a board. So we know share is equal um, TC divided by uh, J. And there you feel you have T is going to be uh, 872.6, 872.6, and multiplied by C is 0 0.025, and divided by pi divided by 2 times 0 0.025 by power 4. So that comes out to 35.5 million newton meter per square or megapascal. And the next one we're going to find out is the T max right here for DE, which I have room right here. T max DE, and same same thing. T max DE is 572.6, 572.6. That's going to be multiplied by uh, 0.025 divided by the same thing over here. It's the same diameter. Pi divided by 2.025 by power 4 and that will give us 23.3 million uh, um, Newton per meter score we can say 23.3 megapascal so that's it really and uh, that's how we do this problem